Alrighty, artists, what we are going to focus on in this tutorial is how to actually create a magazine layout. Um, it's going to be like a full spread two page layout, 14 inches by eight and a half inches. Um, essentially, the project is you are going to show me what you have all accomplished, and you are also going to write in the text area of your magazine layout. Um, you are going to talk about what are some of the things you learned? Maybe what are your favorite projects throughout the semester? Um, a combination of those two things you're going to write and actually add straight into your magazine layout. So it's kind of a double purpose. We're learning how to create a layout, but we're also reflecting on the entire semester and what we've learned um, throughout creating um, first a two-page layout, then you'll do a second one. That's kind of more on your own. So in this demonstration, we are going to start off with just the magazine layout basics, how to add text, how to add photos, and how to kind of add um, different elements to your magazine layout. So we are going to open up our Photoshop app. And our document, like I said, is going to be kind of a different size than usual because it's going to be almost like two pages next to each other. So we want that to be very large. So when we do our create new document here, um, we are going to title this magazine layout, our name, and then we are going to create a file that is actually 14 inches in width and eight and a half inches in height and we got to make sure we're on inches instead of pixels make sure you have inches selected resolution you can keep it 200 um, we can keep it at RGB color and then a custom white background as well as fine um, at that point when you have those dimensions put in in your title you can click create and this should bring you to a full magazine layout page so essentially this will be divided in half um, and then you'll be creating one side of each of the um, pages here. So what we're going to do is actually work with what we call guides. Um, guides are temporary. They simply help you with alignment and making sure all of your photos, text boxes are in line with each other and that they look really nice and clean. So these are simply guides. Um, and we are going to do that by clicking view and then going down to new guide layout. Now you'll see that my custom um, layout already pops up. So like I said, these are temporary. They, you know, they're not part of your layout. They're just guides to help you place things. So um, depending on what you already have, you can work with several different guides um, and create your own custom ones. And <clears throat> What I would like to do is just a custom one where we have eight columns. So we have columns clicked and type in eight. We need to have rows clicked and we want to do nine rows. So we'll enter nine in there. Um, so that gives us a really nice way to align everything. And then we also can do a margin. And let's say we want like half of an inch or a quarter of an inch would be 0.25. We can do 0.25 maybe for this project or 0.5 if you want half of an inch layout or sorry margin. If you want all of them to be the same you'll just go in and click 0.25 inches for each margin and you'll see that changes um, the spacing between where you'll put your pictures and the edge of the document. So you don't want to be right up to the edge in case of misprinting and things like that. So once we have our guide done, we can click OK. Um, we have a really, really nice guide here. And what we are going to simply start off with is adding in boxes that will turn into pictures eventually. So right now um, we are going to go over to our toolbar and we are going to find the shape tool. Um, it's called the rectangle tool in here. So if we right click, there's all of these different shapes that we can use for our pictures. We can do rounded rectangles if we would like, um, you know, ovular or ellipse shaped 
polygons. I'm going to stick with rectangle just because we are just starting this just to get everyone acclimated. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you, you know, how can we start by adding a big picture up on the top left here maybe. And this, like I said, we're going to go right up to here because this is half of the entire layout. So this is one page and then page two is on the other half. So I don't want to, you know, go into the seam of my magazine layout, which is right in the middle. Um, I don't know, this is a little dark. I might change the colors of all of my boxes. It might just be fine. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. Um, eventually there'll be pictures anyway, so it doesn't really matter what color we have for that. So um, starting with that first rectangle, now what I'm going to do is four pictures that are the same exact size. So again, I'm going to that shape tool and then I'm creating a new shape that fits right inside these six alignment boxes here, right? So the layout boxes, I should call them. So now if I want to repeat this several times, exactly the same, I want all these four pictures to be the same size, I kind of want to um, copy and paste that specific shape. Um, so what I can do is go up to edit and then copy and I, well it looks like that didn't quite work so let's try this. Let's go over to our layer panel and let's just copy the layer since all I have is that one rectangle on this layer. Let's right click it, duplicate layer, click OK and then another one should have showed up. Um, I go to my move tool and it looks like it copied right on top of the last one. So it's kind of tricky. You almost can't see it when it copies. Um, those pink lines will pop up when you have it correctly aligned. So that's really nice. And then I'll um, duplicate that layer again. Click OK. Make sure I'm on the move tool. And whichever one I am copying is where it'll kind of pop up when you paste, copy paste. So again, <clears throat> duplicate one last one for the last layer and then drag it and place it to make sure it's properly aligned. And you'll see that if all of them match up, those little pink bars will pop up and that'll ensure they're in, um, you know, correct alignment with each other. So now I essentially have all of my picture areas done. Eventually we'll be popping pictures directly into those shapes. So <clears throat> what we are going to do at this point is make sure that we are converting each of these shapes into smart objects. And the reason we're doing that is if you convert something into a smart object, you can directly put in a picture there and it'll kind of go directly to that size. So we need to make sure every single rectangle that we've just created is a smart layer by going to our layer panel, right clicking and click convert to smart object. So I am going to do that for every single rectangle layer, right click, convert to smart object, right click, convert to smart object, right click, convert to smart object, right click, convert to smart object. All right, so now all of those are smart objects. I can actually see that the little icon pops up to show me it is a smart object. All right. Um, <clears throat> what we also can do is group all of these into a pictures folder on um, our layer panel. So I can left click and then click shift on my keyboard, hold down shift, click the bottom rectangle, all of those should be selected. Now I can right click and click group from layers and I can title this group. So I can call them pictures Oops. and click OK. Now you'll see all of those go into a little file of all pictures. Pretty cool how we can kind of declutter our layer panel like that. The next step that we're going to do is <clears throat> include text. So 
I am going to go over to my toolbar again on the left and click the text tool. Click here. And I am going to just call this title. So you might say things that have happened in the art room this year because that's what you're writing about. But I'll just put title for now. Click my move tool and make sure that's properly aligned. I don't want it right up to the center of my page. It seems like it would be too close. I am going to drag that out a bit and put it right here. Um, I can hit shift and then make sure I'm on my text tool, hit shift, and then start a new subheading below that one. So this might be again, um, projects and experiences, we could call it. And because this is a subtitle, we'll put this a little bit smaller. So I might change that to 18 point or maybe even 16 point. And then I'll move that so it's properly aligned below my title. And I might move both of these down a little bit. And we are going to again click shift so we can create a new text box. Make sure we're on text box first. Click shift, create a new text box here. And this is simply where we are going to put our paragraphs. So we'll start talking about our experiences in the art room. I am not going to necessarily write anything to Hefty right now because I'm just showing you how to add these text boxes. So let's align that first. Then I can go in and type something along the lines in our digital art seven class these oops we created and you can go on to say whatever you would like the text is up to you that's going to be kind of your choice I might create two text box, not just one. So I might duplicate this layer and move it over here. So I might go to my um, new text box. I might duplicate that layer. Okay. And then I can drag that over so it's the same font and size. And because this is my actual text, I might even bump this down to a 12 for both of these to make it a little bit smaller than the subheading. So now at this point, <clears throat> you'll be able to go in and edit that entire paragraph and you might have it come all the way down to these pictures here. Um, the last piece of text that I would like you to include is captions for each of your photos. So again, making sure I'm on my text tool, click shift to create a new text box. And then you can create a caption for each photo. So what you should be including is, you know, maybe a title of your work or things like that. So again, um, I can right click and copy, or sorry, um, duplicate layer. Okay. Click my move tool, drag this. So I have one caption that's exactly the same for every image here. Again, right click. Duplicate layer, okay, move, make sure it's properly aligned, just like that. And one more time, duplicate layer, okay, drag over. So I have my captions. And you'll see again, when it's pink, that means the spacing is lined up with the last one. So we're good there. So at this point, now I have all of my areas where I will have pictures and where I will have text. The last thing you can do here is use that rectangle tool again on your toolbar. Choose the color that you would like. And you could just add some little decorative elements. So let's say maybe I want kind of a rectangular shape up here. Maybe I want to add one underneath this picture. Maybe I want to put a page number down here and you can have a little bit of fun with uh, where you want to put just these little decorative elements. All right, so that's video one.
um, video two.